Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today is going to be an absolute fire video. Now, I know a lot of times I have the tendency to bring disappointment to the table, but this is different. It is going to be anything but disappointment because we are looking at the top 10 weirdest instruments in the world. I have blessed you guys with the presence of the didgeridoo on my channel before, but there are weirder, more bizarre instruments out there. So I wanna take a moment today and make you guys aware of the hidden gems that are out in this world. Maybe by the end of this, you will have found your new passion in life. I think I might find my new passion, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Otherwise, I will be big sad and we don't want that. I've already cried twice today. The first weird instrument that I'm taking a look at is called the marble machine. So this guy we see in the video, he straight up made this entire machine by himself and it's so intricate. I don't think y'all are gonna believe this. He literally uses marbles to make music. So here's this absolute monster of a machine. Here's the guy who is about to do his thing on, he cranks a little cranky wheel. Okay, it's coming, you just wait. I wonder how many marbles there are. So crazy. Okay, and he has the snare, the kick, the bass, everything. This isn't just a marble machine. It's a whole bunch of instruments put together. There's a xylophone. I'm losing my marbles over this. What the heck? And he's just playing bass like it's no big deal. Oh yeah, I have this machine with thousands of marbles and I'm just gonna play the bass. Honestly, this kind of slaps. There's so many of them. Okay, this is not only amazing because of the music, it sounds super beautiful, of course, but I can't even imagine how you begin to build something like that. You have to be master engineer to even come up with that. My one brain cell could never. This next one is called the hydrolophone. This time the water is making music. I also do not understand how this one works, but I know it has something to do with water pressure. It makes a cool sound though. So let's take a look. Sounds super fancy. It kind of sounds like a movie soundtrack, a little bit haunting. But also, can he come play at my wedding? You know, for a second, I always thought Kids Bob would be playing while I walked down the aisle, but now I want Mr. Waterboy to come play his water instrument. Now we have this guy who made an instrument out of PVC pipes. How you ask? I literally have no idea. These people are just looking at random items and saying, I wanna make an instrument out of that, and they do it. I don't know how it works, but it's, it's beyond me. It goes way, way past passed over my, I can't think, I can't speak. Okay, I'm way too excited about this one. <laughs> we got the office theme. This goes hard, okay. Okay, this kid is literally playing PVC pipes and this guy over here, does not look enthused at all. So he did this for his talent show. I hope he won. I feel sorry for the people that had this as competition for the talent show. Yeah, I feel like every talent show I've heard of, you just have people singing Riptide. So if that's his competition, I'm sure he won. Now we have a hurdy-gurdy. It's a fun name, but I don't know how to explain what this instrument is. It kind of looks like a cello or a violin, but then it has one of those cranky things too, where you, yeah, I don't know. I'm not good with my words, okay? Dark medieval ballad. I'm gonna relate to this way hard. It's such a weird sound, but it's so cool. I kind of dig it. It definitely sounds very medieval, but it also sounds like music that you would play when someone just died, so I don't know about this. Okay. 
You can officially add hurdy-gurdy to the list of instruments that I need to learn how to play. I need that in my life. I want to play a dark medieval ballad. I'm kind of salty that I didn't know what a hurdy-gurdy was when I was little because I would have learned that. I would have spent my years mastering it. I mean, it's not too late to start learning it. I'm just saying if I would have started learning it when I was five, I would be unstoppable right now. This is called the Picasso guitar and I believe it has something insane like 42 strings on it. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna have to cry today, but sure. He's really talented. Oh! I didn't even see there's strings on the way end of the body. Literally how? Okay, now I can see the strings on, on this side. That has 42 strings. Think about trying to restring that guitar. It takes me two hours to restring my six string guitar. The instrument looks so chaotic, but he plays it so beautifully. All right, there's another instrument that I can be sad that I don't know how to play. It's too much work though. I take too many naps for that. This next one is a big oh. boy. So this is an entire structure that they have built. It's huge. Kind of looks like a cheese grater. I can't quite hear the sound that it's making though. Let's skip ahead a bit. Oh my word, no. That's the sound that it makes. What? That sounds like the part of the scary movie where the main character is about ready to get beat up by the scary person. Don't get me wrong, I think this instrument is very cool, but it creeps me out, so therefore we are going to move on to the next one. The Zeusophone. Apparently this one shoots out electricity and makes music through that. This really does keep getting weirder. That is the one I'm having at my wedding. I don't know how to get a hold of one. Are they super expensive? You guys have probably heard of the automaton before, but have you heard of the jumbo automaton? Heck yes. Guys, give that video a thumbs up. He, he has he has spoken it into existence. All right, guys, next one is the glass harmonica. It's so calming. Maybe this is what I should start playing when I go to take a nap. It just, I feel so like I'm floating. This is fire. What a banger. You know, this video is just making me wish I could play instruments. I know I've said all of these instruments are super weird but amazing, but I promise you this last one. I don't think anything can beat this. This guy literally takes a potato, an actual potato, carves it, and makes an instrument out of it. But wait, there's more. He plays Africa on the potato. What? My fiance is actually the one who introduced this YouTube channel to me, this bizarre world of making instruments from carrots, potatoes, pumpkins, anything. <laughs> Sunny! Sunny, do you wanna come watch potatoes make music with me? We're gonna die. We're gonna dive right. We're gonna dive right into this. This is just making me realize how much more creative and smarter people are than me. Oh, he's gonna make all the sounds. How is he so calm and collected about this? He's literally playing a freaking potato and he's just vibing. 
so chill. I have to do that at some point. This video just inspired me so much. I want to try to make an instrument out of a potato. My brain is exploding after watching all of these instruments. I don't even understand how the majority of them work. Let me know down in the comments which of these instruments you want to learn or which one you want to see me attempt to play at some point. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely a journey. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do that because I post videos every week and maybe I'll do a part two to this video if you guys so desire to see weirder, stranger instruments than these ones. I hope you have a fantastic day. I love y'all. Bye.